Welcome back guys and welcome to another 12 days of Christmas, 12 questions answered. Today we'll be answering a question that comes up all the time and that is, which is the best software for video editing? Okay, so for mobile video editing, if you're using your phone or an iPad, I personally use LumaFusion. It's a one-off payment, it's full of features, including a few professional features. It's super easy to use. It's a great platform to learn if you're a beginner. It works exactly the same on your phone as it does on your iPad, which is super practical. And if you want any evidence of its credentials, just check out any video on this channel because I've made pretty much every video for this channel using LumaFusion on an iPad. Sticking with mobile platforms, there's also CapCut. I don't personally use CapCut very much, but George is an absolute whiz on it. If you want to see what you can achieve with CapCut, check out George's channel because she uses CapCut on her phone for pretty much everything on her personal channel. Now, one of the downsides to CapCut is its subscription model. But if you're okay with that, then that might be something you want to investigate. But personally, for mobile video editing, I'd go with LumaFusion. Okay, so what about for a more professional package for a desktop? Well, you basically, your choice is between the big three. You've got Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, and Division Resolve. All three packages basically do the same thing, just in slightly different ways. Starting with Premiere Pro, it's pretty much industry standard. Its strengths are in its shareability. So it's cross-platform, so it works on Macs and PCs. So if you're working on a big project and you need to share work with people, Premiere Pro is really, really good at that. Probably one of the biggest downsides for Premiere is the price. The only way to pay for it is with a subscription. It's part of the Adobe suite and it is very expensive. In fact, for most people, it's probably prohibitively expensive. Also, having used Premiere for a long time, I can say that the criticisms about its stability are right. It's not the most stable of programs and it does take quite a while to do things. Next up, we've got Final Cut Pro. Final Cut's a great program. It's super easy to use and it runs really smoothly on Macs. The problem is that it's Mac only, so it kind of rules out half the potential user base straight away. Unlike Premiere, it's not a subscription base, it's a one-off payment, which is cool, but its updates are not very regular. And in recent years, it has been completely superseded by the next one on the list, which is DaVinci Resolve. Formerly the industry standard for colour grading, DaVinci Resolve has very quickly evolved into a fully functional editing suite. You've probably seen lots of videos here on YouTube about how people have ditched Premiere and switched over to DaVinci Resolve and like, you know, different reasons to switch to DaVinci Resolve. And I have to say, they're actually right. We switched to DaVinci Resolve about a year, year and a half ago or something, and honestly, we've never looked back. The features in Resolve are much more refined and much easier to use than in Premiere and more professional and more sophisticated than Final Cut. It's cross-platform so it runs on PCs and Macs and it's Apple Silicon native so it runs super smooth on my base model M2 MacBook Pro. And don't forget DaVinci Resolve is made by Blackmagic, the people who make the Blackmagic Pocket Camera and the new standard in mobile filmmaking, the Blackmagic Camera. It's a one-off payment and the updates come very, very frequently. Okay, this is starting to sound like it's sponsored. It's not sponsored. It's just that through trial and error, I've found that DaVinci Resolve is much better than the other two. So there's your answer. In my opinion, the best platform for video editing, professional video editing, is DaVinci Resolve. If you're on mobile, I'd go with LumaFusion. Okay, don't forget to check back tomorrow for another of your questions answered. Thanks for watching. See you next time.